Hi there. <clears throat> Hi there. Tina Spaulding here, Trance Channel. Uh, I am doing um, the lessons of A Course in Miracles this year on YouTube so that you can uh, experience them and listen to Jesus's commentary on each lesson. So he seems to be showing up after each lesson. So I'm reading the text that uh, is in the book and uh, then I am channeling Jesus and giving him an opportunity to add his um, wisdom to that lesson. So I'm going to read lesson three now. This is, uh, you should be watching this on January 3rd if you're uh, January 3rd 2019 and uh, that's when it came out. Perhaps you're watching it later but either way this is lesson three. I do not understand anything I see in this room, on this street, from this window, in this place. Apply this idea in the same way as the previous ones, without making distinctions of any kind. Whatever you see becomes a proper subject for applying the idea. Be sure that you do not question the suitability of anything for application of the idea. These are not exercises in judgment. Anything is suitable if you see it. Some of the things you see may have emotionally charged meaning for you. Try to lay such feelings aside and merely use these things exactly as you would anything else. The point of this exercise is to help you clear your mind of all past associations, to see things exactly as they appear to you now, and to realize how little you really understand about them. It is therefore essential that you keep a perfectly open mind, unhampered by judgment, in selecting the things to which the, to which the idea for the day is to be applied. For this purpose, one thing is like another, equally suitable, and therefore equally useful. So that's lesson three. And now I'll bring Jesus through, and we will see what he has to say about lesson three. <clears throat> You are blessed beings indeed. I am that one that you know as Jesus, and this is an important year for you. You are here on lesson three in the very, very early stages of beginning to question yourself about how you see reality. Now, for most of you, how you see reality is never questioned. You feel perfectly fine to say this is right or that is wrong and she is good and he is bad and this looks good on me and it looks really bad on you. Whatever the judgment is, you base it on your perception of reality. And your emotional feedback from your guidance system, which is the loving system that you have been given that tells you how close you are to love or how far away you are from love, will feed back to you information about the judgments that you are making. If you look upon somebody who is doing something and you lay that judgment, that is bad, they should not be doing that, you will feel feedback from your emotional guidance system and it will be a bad feeling. You will associate the bad feeling with the action that that person that you have judged is doing. What is actually happening is your feedback system, this beautiful guidance system that you have been given, is giving you feedback on your behavior. This is the great secret that you are all uh, uh, missing in your teachings. The guidance system is telling you about your behavior. Judge not, for you will suffer, not because you are being punished by a vengeful God, as many of you believe but because your guidance system is perfect, perfect, it will never stop telling you how close you are to love or how far away you are from love. And so when you gaze upon someone and you say that behavior is bad and unacceptable and they are bad people for doing that behavior, your loving guidance system that is teaching you how to love will say, Mm -mm. It will give you a negative emotional response because you have just stepped away from love. You have not gazed upon that person with forgiving eyes. 
And so this is the principle that we are beginning to work with here, that you don't know the meaning of things. When you see somebody do something or you hear someone say something or you uh, watch a piece, piece of information on your television screens, you do not understand it because you do not know the motivation, you do not know the evolutionary status of that person and you don't know what they're here to learn. So you should not judge, not only because it's unloving, but because you will suffer for stepping away from love in your judgment, in your isolation of that person or your persecution of that person. Your guidance system is perfect, it's impeccable and it's constantly telling you how close you are to love. And in your peace and your happiness and your joy, it tells you, yes, you are on the way to love. In your frustration, in your shame and in your fear, it says, no, you are off track here, beloved. You need to look at how you are perceiving things. Perception makes your world, makes your emotional world. And that is all you know. That is all you are experiencing. You think it is out there, but you are experiencing the emotional world of your perceptions, your interpretation and your judgments. I am that one that you know as Jesus, and we are happy that you are with us today on lesson three. Do your lesson impeccably and pay attention to the stories that you tell about the world and how they make you feel. We will return tomorrow. Hmm. All right. Thank you for joining us on this 365-day journey. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.